So today we have golden girl here. That is none other than Bushra Mateen. She has secured 16 gold medals in VTU. Please give her a big round of applause and over to Bushra Mateen. Before that, I request Mahir Madam to felicitate her and I request others to accompany. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today is a special day. International Women's Day celebration is going on. So I want to do my own name of my father's name. My name is Bushra Mateen, daughter of Shabana Parveen. I want to hear a song from the Quran of Surah Rahman. Fabi ayyi ala hi rabbi kuma tukalziban. تم اپنے رب کی کون کون سی نعمتوں کو جھٹلا ہوگے بے شک میرے اللہ نے مجھے نوازا ہے اس مقام پہ میں اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کے سچے دل سے شکر بزار ہوں اور اس مقام کو میں نے کبھی سونچا نہیں تھا کبھی خواب میں بھی نہیں سونچا تھا کہ میں ایک بی ٹیو پہ اتنا گولڈ میڈل حاصل کروں گی بے شک میرے اللہ نے نوازا ہے میں اللہ کی تہہ دل سے شکر بزار ہوں اور I am thankful and grateful to the founder and pioneer of the Shaheen group of institution Dr. Abdul Khadir sir To all the chief guests present here, they are the true inspiration, they are the live examples how to come out, of a, out as a beautiful flower and I am thankful to all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais and to all the management and institution of the Shahin group and myself Bushra Mateen, I completed civil engineering and I am from Raichu district for a backward district but it's not because Shahin group of institution is in same Babida district where they have achieved miles, where they have achieved the success at the peak. And even I represented Raichur at the Karnataka state and I received 16 gold medals on March 10th. It was on March 10th when I received the gold medal and I was being rewarded with this from Honorable Speaker of Lok Sabha, the Governor of Karnataka and Honorable Minister of Higher Education, Shri Ashwat Narayan. And when, when my father was watching this, his eyes got teared and the tear of joy was rolling down his cheek. This is the biggest achievement for me, seeing my father with this happiness. This is the precious moment of my life. And I want to say everyone, this is not a difficult task. Everyone can achieve. Even I was a student in my school days where I was a shy person. Even I, I used to think twice to clap in this crowd. Now I'm standing here so everyone can achieve your aims, your goals. Never think yourself inferior. You, you are superior and don't compare yourself with others. And I am overwhelmed with joy seeing my girl students sitting over here and coming out of their houses and making yourself educated. This is a proud moment for me and I am, I am honored. I am glad I am standing here in front of you. Then I joined engineering because I had an aim to do what my father is. My father is a civil engineer. I had an aim to pursue that. Everyone say girls cannot do civil engineering because it is a practical work, it is a site work. But Alhamdulillah, I completed it and in my class I had 30 girl students in civil engineers and 40 boys. It was equal to majority, equally equal. So this is a great thing. And I request everyone to perceive your dreams, what is in your, what is your interest. Don't follow what the crowd follows. You are unique and you should follow what you think is good for you. And the best advice anyone could give to you is your parents. Never ever ignore your advice of the parents. Never misuse your advice of the parents. Listen to them. And one thing I then came to engineering in SLN College of Engineering, Yermaras. There I started my civil engineering. Uh, I, my college had been started in 1979, it's more than 40 years and I joined civil engineering and we have 8 SEMs in our civil engineering, in our engineering. There at first SEM I came to our UTU university top, first university rank I achieved there throughout the Karnataka. 
and people started doubting my success they were like she got from luck it's her destiny she achieved this it's not her talent or it's not her hard work then at the same again second time i came top to the university and it continued even now after achieving 16 gold medals many of them are saying that it's destiny it's not her hard work but destiny is also written by allah subhanahu wa taala isn't it so allah subhanahu wa taala gave me this opportunity gave me this achievement it's something that i should thankful i should be thankful so always think in a positive way never go towards the negative every field every course has pros as well as cons has advantage as well as disadvantage you should take your disadvantage as your challenge and make it advantageous and one more thing i was in my 7th sem recently uh, in april month my uh, mother mother was uh, positive in covid she in second wave she is a diabetic patient and it was a very serious issue because the doctor said you should shift him to hospitals because she is a diabetic patient because the uh, uh, diabetic pressure level goes very high sugar level goes very high it's very risky at that moment i prayed to allah that i it's okay if i never get a qualified degree it's okay if i never be a graduate just make my mother a good help give her a good help this was the only prayer i did to allah subhanahu wa taala and by the grace of allah my mother got recovered and today i'm standing here with 16 gold medals this is a so precious moment for me and never ever doubt allah subhanahu wa taala you you should have a strong faith in allah subhanahu wa taala you will achieve every goal of your life and whether it's doctor it's engineering in every field you can achieve and to my success one of the most important key feature is tahajjud you you woke up at tahajjud you pray you offer namaz just you speak with allah he will give everything you need impossible can be done into a possible from allah subhanahu wa taala nothing is impossible you can achieve everything you pray tahajjud one incident of me is when i was in a fourth sem i woke their exams were going on i woke up at 4 o'clock 4 o'clock morning i offered my tahajjud namaz i revised my topics at the exam was at 2:30 we uh, i i was about to leave my house i was searching my watch but i could not find my watch it is a silly thing but yeah everyone know watch is so important during the examination section because we take 10 minutes to answer this question that that i was unable to find my watch and i with that fear before it, we we have fear or anxiety before our exams right with that with the tension of this watch it is silly but it was i went to examination hall i don't know what, what for what reason the exam got postponed to 3 am 3 pm after half an hour then i i was sitting there i was i started revising the topics of that subject the simplest subjects i could not even remember i felt blank i started crying i was like what mistake i did allah subhanahu wa taala why is this happening with me what did i do then after that at 3 pm the answer question paper was given i was complete blank the subject was easy hydraulic subject was there but i was completely blank the simplest problem i could not have solved there the equations i was blank at all then with doubt doubt and all with cry i was crying and i wrote the exam after 20 days i got the result and in that fourth sem we total have nine subjects in out of nine subject this was the highest subject i scored in that sem with 98 out of 100 this is the hope in allah you should never doubt the doubt what you have faith in allah subhanahu wa taala allah will reach to you to the peak of success you should never doubt allah subhanahu wa taala that is the one thing i want to say and do respect your parents have an advice this is not my this is not an inspiration story of mine here are the live examples who have struggled in their life and turned out as a beautiful flowers this is the live examples and everyone should get inspired from that and maybe in the future you will come here and you will be as a chief guest and address your struggle story to us and i hope allah subhanahu wa taala listen everyone's prayer and one more thing i want to say uh, life there comes bad things in our life we should choose wisely you, if you want you can define it if you want you can destroy that if you want you can strengthen that here are the live examples who have strengthened their life from this struggle and came out as a beautiful flowers and that's what i want to say even i know here so many people are sitting over here and even you have a struggle life maybe you have not come out of that but please keep hope in allah do offer namaz tahajjud namaz is the best solution for all your problems you want to achieve each and everything the tahajjud namaz you can achieve everything and i am thankful to the bida institution to calling me over here i am i am i am absolutely honored i am glad 
for calling me here. Thank you each and everyone. Do remember me and my parents in your prayers. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.